boys and girls, you're looking at the KISS. I've got the KISS in the garage. The garage is chock full of machines. We've got the F-14 we're still doing. We've got the Totem. We've got the Lost World. We've got the Six Million Dollar Man and the Fam of the Opera, along with the Metamorphic Arcade Cabinet standing here. And they are all in various stages of what can I get done with the parts that I have and the stuff that I'm waiting on and whatnot. And what am I going to do about that one? We're not sure yet, but we're here for this. The problem today is, my goodness, that the work we're about to do. Uh, I honestly forgot how much was involved and what else was going on and what all I don't really have still. There's a lot of parts that are hopefully I can find out of the bucket of this that were from the other play field that was pulled apart. And these are the parts that I have that I got when I bought it. Uh, you know, paid a hundred bucks for a busted pile of wood. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, children of questionable parentage, it is your homeboy Captain Retro and I am spinning seductively around the head of a 1978 Bally Kiss pinball machine that we picked up from our buddy Philip up in Myrtle Beach for a hundred dollars in a deal with this and the Captain Fantastic that's over there behind it and hiding in the shadows. Uh, I'm pointing at the air compressor right now because it was on and making a dreadful sound when I did this video originally and now I'm gonna do a voiceover. Someone originally had already sanded this cabinet and stripped the entire thing. I'm talking every cable, everything. Look, the front's broken. Every wire, every switch, the play field was pulled apart. The entire cabinet was disassembled. There is no back glass. There are no boards, really. We have to rebuild it from the ground up. It's the biggest project I've ever taken on, and you're about to join the process for step one. With terrible artwork and everything stripped, uh, we're, we're, we're in it. Anyway, this is the bundle that goes to the coin door, and we've got a good bit of work there to do on that. But first, uh, I'm going to assess what we're doing, what we've got to go on here. We're going to get the power and everything run to the bottom of the play field and all that. I do still don't have a rectifier for this. I just bought one on eBay. I got one used for a hundred bucks uh, with a transformer and the rectifier board. And I will rebuild that board and make sure it's working and doing its thing. I do have a gross old transformer, but it's disgusting and broken in half and it looks like a fire hazard. So I don't want to use it. Uh, we've got a rebuilt, freshly rebuilt solenoid driver board that's in really, really, really nice shape. Uh, a brand new MPU. That's the original light board. Uh, there is also the original auxiliary light board is right there. I actually have two of them. There's one attached to the light board right now. And that's the other sound board. And uh, that's from the original game. That's the original thing from the game. And the, the rectifier board that goes there, or not the rec board, but the auxiliary light board that goes there. Our original that's the original paperwork inside um, you know I I, uh, I I call it a restoration or a revival it's really a resurrection it's, it's bringing this game back from complete death uh, and it's gonna have a lot of new stuff in it but I'm gonna leave as much original as I can and leave some of the patina on it too. the coin door it looks great it's, it's got some scuffing but it's you know it's of the period and I, I want it to fit in uh, the artwork I've done and it looks really good. There's a couple spots of overspray on the back I got to clean up with some white But other than that the cabinet is in really great shape. We've got a brand new back glass on the way We've got our locking bar mech installed in here and I need to put a new key on it and we can use that I think I've got everything I need to make it happen It's just gonna be take the time to put it all together. Look at this So uh, I did originally when I first started messing with this I built my started building my own wire harness loom to it with all new wires to certain things there I think I got the GI wired in is all I've got wired and everything else was daunting and I didn't know where to start so I've ordered piles of cables and they're over here and this is some instructions that come with them and piles of looms that we've got to build all the other stuff back for the play field and the back box and uh, that's where we're at today. Welcome to the madness. My pinball pimp stencil uh, approval authentic authenticity certificate is right here. It will be proudly stapled to the wall eventually. These are the instructions for when you're painting. And I've gotten some more debris in the bottom of this thing just from being stored downstairs in the garage in, or in the storage under the, under the house. So we get to vacuum it out again and get it cleaned again. The play field's got a little bit of schmutz and dirty crap on it too, but we'll get to that. Wish me luck, boys and girls. All right, so we're back. We have the main interconnect harness here. 
uh, for all the boards is now plugged into where it goes with the exception of this little guy. I guess I pulled that one down there. Got, got a little wonky. All right, it's on there. Uh, and everything plugs in where it goes except for the rectifier board. Again, we don't have the rectifier board here yet. Uh, I've also got a brand new LED light board that I have not installed, but that's the original one, but I'm going to put an LED brand new one in there and make that work. We got the aux board wired and or plugged up. Uh, this... This bundle of cables here is my original wiring of that, and I'm just gonna leave that. That's the KISS, K-I-S-S lights. I had wired it correctly. We've got it pinned correctly. This is the pit, the uh, section he sent for that. And I'm, I'm gonna hold on to this. We're just not gonna use this one. I think I did a pretty damn good job with mine. It's the exact same thing that I would have to redo with this. So we're just gonna leave that alone. Uh, we do have points across the board we have to fix. We got the high score to date light. You got your match light over here. You got your game over down here. Uh, a couple things were on the shoot again. Uh, tilt. We got to get those wired in. And all of that is involved in this little loom and the rest of these lights from this section. I had actually already had that wired too, but I went ahead and pulled that wire off. And we will use this because of the way he's got his plugs built. So I don't want to interchange and go crazy. We're going to make this that. This plug is the exact same thing he just gave me and built, and I know that this is brand new and, and done right too, so we're just gonna use my cable. So uh, on that end, and I also he also sent me all brand new ground braid as well. This package is thoroughly consistent with good stuff. All the cabling is great. All the plugs are nice and snug and just brand new, and it feels like you're, you know, you're not really doing much. This all was just plugging things right where they go. They're all labeled, so that's easy to do. Uh, this will be the next challenge, which is wiring up the light board. Then we will finish the coin door. I started on it, and I put it away last night, and I'll get back to that. We'll do the coin door, and then I will start on the play field. Uh, the play field, I've got a bunch of mechs I have to rebuild, but I'm going to go ahead and wire it all first, and then I'll rebuild mechs from there. Uh, and I may leave what I've already done as well. It is all plugged into its correct plug. I need to zip tie it all off and make it a little bit nicer, but I might leave those where they're at and then use his stuff from there but so far so good I'm gonna listen to mr video watch uh school of rock over there in the corner and uh we're gonna get to it and keep working the night good times once again i have no idea if the sound is working and it will piss me off when i find out later or not it is or not uh, or i'll be happy hooray uh what's up everybody it's your homeboy captain retro and i am back out here in the garage with the kiss pinball machine and the playfield wiring that has going on and been going on and been going on. It's been quite a process. I've got all of the general illumination and most of the switched illumination wired in. I'm doing the, I'm on the pop bumpers right now is what I'm working on right now. And I just figured I'd show you some of this ridiculous situation that's happening over here. Uh, we are missing a couple things. I've got to get me some coils and a coil stop. I, I think I've got a couple things I can actually use for this uh, that'll, that'll work with this machine already, some spare parts and things. But we've got a whole bunch of new stuff waiting to get put on the game, rails. Uh, we put the new coin door trim on yesterday. I'm going to leave the coin door original. It's a little dented. It's a little, you know, used, but I don't care. It's it, the, the play field is used. I'm saving what I can of the original machine that I had and, you know, adding everything else brand new. Um, and it's been quite a process. We are roughly, I would say, 10 hours, 15 hours, somewhere in there, give or take an hour or so of looking up stuff because you're con I'm constantly going back and forth and looking up stuff. I had to make myself labels because I'm doing this in reverse. So this is the right side of the play field and that's the left side of the play field. And I had to like label it so I could figure it out. But the, the kit came with a whole bunch of paperwork telling you kind of where everything from each connector and which line and where it goes to. Uh, it's, it, it's very helpful, but it's also been like, okay, make sure this goes there. I, I'm also missing some parts. These are the, uh, these are for the pop bumpers and uh, I, I'm missing some cable wraps. There's some cable wrap areas that I need. I, I, I ordered some stuff, but like I've got no way to actually hold this up against the play field other than where it's all plugged in at and going through. And uh, it's been a, a lot of research and looking. Uh, again, I did not strip this game 
nor did I strip this playfield. This is, again, the secondary playfield that I bought on eBay, but it was already pre-stripped too, and multiple things were missing. We replaced a ton of these um, little ceramic diodes. Went through and put a whole bunch of new ones on, and everywhere we saw one miss, we need one over there. I had to do this with pot bumper. Uh, they've got a ceramic cap on the back too, so we put that on. It's just been a lot of like going through and finding what we're missing. I know I'm missing a stand-up target. It would be just like, well, actually, it would be a circular round target. There's one here. There's one missing there. Uh, and there are two missing from the lower half of the play field as well. Uh, somewhere down here, I think. Yeah, right here. There would be a... Uh, this is, the I believe, the second S... K-I-S-S. -S. Again, we're looking at it from reverse, uh, which has been a nightmare. Just I, I, I've done a lot of pencil writing on the playfield. Someone else had written a couple things on here, but I have no idea what their A1 means. But I've gone through and labeled a couple things as where, where you needed wires placed and what, what needed to be where. I haven't tried to plug anything up yet other than the actual... I'm, the power right here is running off of the inside power line right there. So I know the power is powered up right and done. We rebuilt the whole coin door. Wiring. Uh, we run all that inside. I have not hooked up the tilt sensors yet. I have not finished putting the, the flipper buttons back together. But we got brand new buttons for those. There's one down there waiting to get put over here. I was just kind of checking my fitment on certain things. Uh, I'm... I'm missing, there's a there's a piece of metal that goes here that's like a clamp, and it holds the back glass in place, and I'm missing a part of that. I've got one half of it, I'm missing the other half. I'm not sure what I'm going to do about that at this point. Uh, it's something I have to look up and see if I can find online. I used one. I could really stand a new coin, not a new coin, but a new light door would be great. Uh, I'd left my initial wiring that I did by hand at home and left that plug on. That's the only wire set in here that is not something that I paid money for. Everything else I went through and rewired and I'm pretty sure it's all wired up correctly. At least it, it looks like it is and going to the right boards, plugins. Uh, it's been a nightmare. It's been a, it's been a uh, not a nightmare, but just a labor of love and you gotta, you gotta wanna do it and get it done. And I'm, it's in the middle of all these other projects that I'm working on with the F14. I just got the Lost World up and running. It's it's now back up and working 100%. And, of course, I've stacked stuff on top of it. The Fam of the Opera needs to be gone through in rubbers. This one's going to go out in public. Sometime this week, I'm going to take it up to the the brewery up in Lawrenceville. And it's going to be out for play uh, in public for a while. See, see what kind of money an old pinball machine will bring in on a monthly basis. And $6 million man is in line to get painted. It's also for sale on eBay at a ridiculous number that somebody will never pay unless they're stupid. And if they pay that, then they can have it. But I was planning on painting it and then, then trying to sell it for that number because then it would be worth that number. So long story short, I'm just babbling. I'm going over things. And uh, I'm trying to get my head straight again. I've been staring at wires for the last 45 days, it feels like. And I, I needed a break. I needed to pick up the camera and show you guys what's going on. Uh, there is a blemish too. We had an issue when we moved to the new house. I chipped a little chunk of the front piece of wood off of this thing right here. And I'm not sure what I'm going to do about fixing that. Maybe just leave it alone. Maybe just get some orange paint and, you know, say fuck it. It looks so good though. I love it. I might want to keep it. That's, that's, <laughs> I might just hold on to it for a couple years. Uh, all this work. Going through spare parts, finding pieces and buckets and extra screws, things that I'm missing from there. I'm missing a ton of screws. I'm missing a m bunch of hardware. Uh, I think I found a bunch of things that I could possibly use on it. We got new skirts for the pop bumpers. We got... Uh, actually, this is the skirt, actually, and this is the, the ring. Oh, boom. Uh, we got some extra backing plates these are plunger four pop bumpers that you put the little thing around we've got the little plate that goes around those so i've got a pile of just random spare parts that have been around and hopefully i can frankenstein this thing back together i definitely need to order 
There's four hard target, four circular yellow, uh, four circle hard targets that go right there. And there's four red circle hard targets that are missing from the game. So I need to order those because I definitely don't have that. I've got some old Pac-Man ones. Where did they go? Yeah, these came off of Mrs. Mr. and Mrs. Pac-Man. So it's basically the same type of thing. Uh, I'm missing the right bracket that hooks it into the place. But I could use one or two of these, but they would just look goofy and dumb. And why would you do that? Let's put the right thing on it. So that's what we're going to do. Technically, there's probably about four or $500 more I need to spend on this thing to make it right. And then at that point... Do I strip this play field again and, and put it on a brand new play field and then go crazy? You know what I mean? Like, that's just, oh, my God, I keep going down the wormhole of what I want to do with it. And I might as well at least get it done and then see what I want to do with it. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. But I appreciate you guys watching along and listening to my rambling. Uh, there's more to come. Lots more going down here in YouTube town. And this is where I've been just going crazy for the last couple of days uh trying to wire this thing and i'll give you a after uh, a before and after videos coming trust me uh, i've got all the general illumination wired in i've got all the switched illumination wired in uh not all of the switches are wired a lot of them are but most of them are not like the pop bumpers aren't there uh i'm missing some hard targets still but I'm jonesing to see this thing at least turn on, and hopefully I've wired stuff correctly. I want to check my stuff and see what's going on. If what I, I think I've done it all correctly. I'm a little bit scared. I've got a power switch right here that I'm about to throw, and let's see if we melt the whole house down or what happens. Three, two, one. Uh, we got some flashing lights happening. My kiss lights aren't doing what they're supposed to do. There's no sound. I don't have a speaker. It didn't catch fire, so that's that's good. It's got power to lights. Uh, I don't actually have everything plugged in. Like I said, I, I'm just running some lights uh, for the GI, which looks like all the GI is on. I, I, I could... Maybe tilt the board over and look at it sideways. Got a couple bulbs that are dead in here. That one. It just might be a, a loose string. Looks like I've maybe miswired that section. I don't know. We'll go through and check it out. See what I've done wrong. It could be a dead light board too. That auxiliary board is the original board. But by God... The lights are powered on. Let's open the coin door and look in there. Look, the coin door lights are on. Well, we're we're partially there. We're getting there. That's that's what we'll say. We're getting there. Hooray! All right, I went ahead and plugged in all of the switched illumination, as well as the GI, and I want to see what happens. So three, two, one. Oh, I saw a flash that time. Holy cow, we the county, boys and girls. All right, we got some flickering going on. That's the LED issue. There we go. I put it on the wrong line. Let me attach this line without blowing myself up. But we can fix that flicker. We can fix that. Hold on. Holy shit, boys and girls. Oh my God, we did it. We've got a bulb or two that aren't doing what they're supposed to do. Might just be a dead LED, might be a bad socket. We can go through and fix all that. Holy cow, we got lights, we got the game trying to play. And the only thing that's not flashing correctly is the KISS. But again, that could be the auxiliary driver board for the KISS lights. Uh, it could be just dead and old. Um, I need to rebuild that. But I am super impressed with myself. Well, we got a couple of lights over here that aren't doing anything. That one's like locked on. Well, we gotta figure out why and what. Maybe they don't light up at this point. Who knows? But so far, so good, nothing melted. Nothing blew up. 
that's what you want to see. All right, one last video on the lighting. We got the uh, cable ties came in the mail today, so that's awesome. I've got a bunch of different sized wraps that I can get all these cables tied off against the board and make sure they don't go flying away. Uh, I did end up changing out the auxiliary lamp board, the auxiliary light board. Uh, the other one was suspect, and this one seems to be working just fine, so I wanted to show you all one last time. Everything come to life and light up, so let's turn it on. Show you the actual KISS lights doing their thing. KISS. K-I-S-S. 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 KISS. KISS. Super sweet. So that's working over there. Now these ones that are lighting up, this is all just the attract mode. If I go in here and hit the first button for the test feature, uh, we can get all the lights will flash and everything that will tell you that it's working. Everything is now flashing across the board except for this little guy. And he might just be a dead bulb too. Maybe just a bad, could be a bad socket. We'll figure it out. We'll track that one down. Everything else is lighting up except that one effing bulb. Great. That's terrific. But all these guys are doing their thing. They're all, at least it tells me everything's plugged in correctly and doing, you know, getting its power. So we've got all the lights. Everything is lit and I couldn't be more proud of the situation. We're going to tidy up a lot of these cables and get everything out of the way. Uh, I got more mechs and a couple more things coming in. My switches are on the way to get it up and running. So I'm done working on it for a couple days until some more parts show up. Uh, but it's glorious, as is the brand new back glass for it that I got in the mail two days ago as well. And it's hiding up here. And let me show you that. And here it is in all its kiss majesty. Uh, I believe this is an old stock. It could be new. There's, It's got some, maybe it's considered a second. There are a couple scrapes and things along the edges. Uh, it is not 100% perfect. I did not complain about that. I believe my, well, this one is pretty, pretty egregious. And this one here, but this one's going to be covered by the tray. The lift tray, this one will probably be covered by a piece of uh, plastic that goes along the edge to the edge covers. But everywhere else on it is really nice. And just what a great picture. It's going to look great up there getting flashed on and getting lights behind it and the new digital LED scoreboards. It's just going to look fantastic. Fan-freaking-tastic. That's going to do it for this episode of the Captain Retro Show. It's a long one. I appreciate you guys sticking around. I kind of ramble for a while, but we've got the machine lit and working and going. And uh, it's just another win column win for Captain Retro. I'm super proud, super happy of it. Can't wait to get it done and can't wait to show you guys the final product of it playing and doing its thing. There's also a new soundboard that my man over at GTO has come up with that plays Kiss music and does all kind of cool things like the Flash Gordon did. It's 220 bucks. What's another 220 bucks if you're already throwing thousands into this thing? Technically, I think I'm I haven't done the actual math, so don't trust me, but I want to say I'm $1600 into this game so far roughly and there's probably another 400 to six to spend to get it perfect or at least as close to perfect as i'm gonna make it so if i'm in it for two grand let's say 2200 if i can end up selling it for six seven eight we'll be all right maybe 10 who knows i'm crazy i'll put 10 on it there are guys asking more online so it's a Wild West situation, and I, I just appreciate you guys hanging out for the ride. Thanks. Like, subscribe, comment down below. Hit the bell so you get all the notifications. You know the game. You know what we're doing here. Captain. Captain